The Pokemon Sun and Moon demo has been released, giving players their first opportunity to see what the seventh generation has to offer. While it's only a small taste, it is hiding a few secrets that you may have missed. So let's take a trip to Alola and see what we can find. One of the big additions to Pokemon Sun and Moon is the full analog control at all times, finally bringing it up to speed with most modern games. It's a great new feature, but you may have missed some of the more advanced movements that our trainer, Sun, can pull off. For one, it's common for players to spin in a circle either out of boredom or the amusement of seeing their character act like a goof. But if you do that in Sun and Moon, something else happens. Sun begins to twirl in place with all of the grace of a dancer. He even has a nice flourish at the end. It's such a little detail that it's impressive that Game Freak thought to add it in. But the spinning only works when you're walking. If you're running at the time, then nothing will happen. And that applies when you're riding Tauros too. There aren't any special animations in those cases. However, there is another kind of animation that you can discover. By rapidly pressing the B button while moving, Sun will eventually stumble in place, showing that the rapid stopping and starting just kind of trips him up. This doesn't really happen with Tauros though. Instead, it drops its head in preparation of a charge rather quickly, but it doesn't lead to anything else. But speaking of Tauros, there is a feature in relation to it that you may have missed. When bringing up the Poke Ride menu, there's a blank circle next to Tauros. By tapping it, an option appears that allows you to assign Tauros to the D-pad. Pressing that button instantly summons Tauros to you, making the process even faster and more convenient. And while we're in the menus, we also get a look at what the heart icon tab means in the bag option. Though it's difficult to say exactly, this seems to be a favorites list as we can send our super potion to be held there rather than the medicine bag. And it's just as easy to send back. But this could potentially serve as a way for players to easily keep track of their held items, evolution stones, or whatever they want to easily access. Let's look at our Pokemon. We can see most of their stats, though you may not have known that you can easily see their EV potential by hitting Y in this menu. If the stat is sparkling, then it's maxed out. It's definitely a convenient option for the more competitive Pokemon fans. But did you notice the information on Greninja? Although the letter you receive at the beginning of the demo had no name, we can see that its original trainer is indeed Ash. But an even cooler nod is when you look at the next screen. Here we can see that it was apparently a fateful encounter in the Kalos region on October 17th, 2013. For anime fans, this was the day the first episode of Pokemon XY premiered in Japan, and Ash actually did meet Froki. It's a really nice touch. Before we move on, we wanted to point out the Rotom Pokedex on the bottom screen. It looks like it just displays the option to rewatch the special trailer or pre-order a digital version of the games. But if you tap Rotom anywhere else, it'll react. It will move in different directions, smile, and get a little sad and worried. It may be a clue to just how much you can interact with Rotom in the full game. But the last place we'll focus on is the location of the Pokemon Capture Challenge, which gives players an opportunity to catch new Pokemon and try them out. There's Pikapek, Young Goose, and Rockruff, but a slightly more rare encounter is Pikachu. If you catch it and give it the Electrium Z Crystal, it will be able to use Z moves. But this also confirms that the power of the Z move is affected by the move it's attached to. Gigavolt Havoc has a power of 175 when used with Thunderbolt, 160 with Electro Ball, and 100 with Nuzzle. It'll also take the characteristic of that move, in that a Gigavolt Havoc with Nuzzle is a physical attack, while an Electro Ball Z move is a special attack. The percentage of power increases doesn't seem consistent though, and we still don't know if Z-moves can work with status effects. What would happen if Thunder Wave was used as the base move for Gigavolt Havoc? Those are mysteries for the full game. Moving on, let's say you get really into the catching challenge. After all, the man that runs it encourages you when you hit certain landmarks. But what happens when you use all 20 Pokeballs to catch 20 different Pokemon? That's some dedication, right? Well, you don't get anything beyond the usual nugget as long as this was your first time taking part in the challenge. Although, because you spent so long catching Pokemon, the poor guy falls asleep. He'll still wake up and praise you, of course, but it's a funny little touch for those who want to go above and beyond. 
but those are the secrets that we could find in the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. What about you, though? Did you discover any that we didn't mention? At least beyond Alolan Dugtrio. Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming.